Do you guys know what FOMO is? Perfect. I really only get FOMO about what other people order at a restaurant. I do. My friends call me the seagull. I'm like, <laughs> I really do. I just, I always want to eat what everybody else has. But a recent study from Psychological Reports found a direct link between the time spent on Instagram and FOMO. I mean, that makes perfect sense. And there's a whole new generation, you know, that's really kind of dealing and grappling with the emotional toll of that. So what can we do about it? My next guest is here to tell us about the concept of JOMO, or yeah, the joy of missing out, which I think I can get into because I'm a total shut-in. Please welcome author, podcaster, and purpose coach, the great Jay Shetty. Hey, Drew. It's so wonderful to meet you. Oh my God, I totally have to admit, I watch you all the time on all these other shows and I can't believe you're actually on this one. This is so exciting. Oh, I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful and excited. Thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being on the show. And will you please tell us what JOMO is? Yeah, so Drew, as you mentioned, JOMO is a well-known as the joy of missing out. And psychologists and coaches see this as a powerful mindset that helps us find peace and connection in our own lives, as opposed to feeling the anxiety and pressure that we should be somewhere else or be doing something else. I mean, you have a concept called time, right? Will you explain that to me? I know what it stands for, but will you please tell everybody? Yes, yeah, so if we want to experience the joy of missing out, there are four daily practices that each and every one of us can do. And it comes in the form of the acronym TIME, so T-I-M-E. The T stands for thankfulness, not just feeling thanks, not just experiencing it, but expressing it. Finding one person a day to say thanks to makes us realize the joy that we already have in our lives. The second thing is I for inspiration. If you're learning every day, whether it's about a new city, whether it's about new food, or whether it's a new word, when you feel you're learning and growing, you start to feel inspiration and you don't look for the validation of others as much. The third one is, of course, M, and that stands for meditation. Now, I know meditation can be quite daunting and difficult, but it's as simple as finding one thing that you can do with yourself every day. It could be tea, it could be reading your favorite book, just finding some time to spend with yourself. And the fourth one is exercise. Now, this doesn't just mean treadmills and gyms. It can be a dance party. It can be moving outdoors. It can be your favorite sport. But if you can make time every day for thankfulness, inspiration, meditation, and exercise, you'll experience the joy of your own company and being in a space of calm with yourself. So when I talked to our news crew this morning about the time concept that you have, I thought, I am a thankful person. I'm going to have like death by inspo because it's just coming out of every orifice. I mean, really, it's like it's too much already sometimes. It's going to say it on my headstone, headstone, like death by inspo because I'm just like, I love everything. And um, exercise, I'm on it. Um, the meditation part is something that I wish that I could really bring to my life. And the way you just spoke about it made me feel like maybe I should be a little, little less hard on myself, which is like a whole other subject. We need like an entire empower we'll do hour. do another time. Yeah, no, like we need the empower hour with Jay Shetty because I need to, you know, I'm working on that. But meditation is something that I think really intimidates people. I think we think if we're not getting really quiet and carving out this time, which a lot of us cannot find, even five minutes, especially as parents and working and all of that, you mentioned that reading a book or doing an action like making yourself a tea, can that be a form of meditation? Absolutely. It's just about being really present with whatever activity or habit you're doing. So smell the tea, breathe it in, uh, listen to it as you stir it, really sip it and feel every flavor. It's a great way of practicing presence. Well, I think that's a great way also to show people that they can bring it into their lives, acknowledge the moment, and not feel bad that they're not going away for 20 minutes and, like, going out into the ether. Um, exactly. Is there anything silly for Jomo, like, you know, <laughs> goofy times? Uh, I, I, I had this confession, Drew, that I want to share with you because this definitely gets me through sometimes. I, I love soccer and basketball video games. 
So that's something that I will miss out on anything for if I can get away with a couple of games of soccer or basketball on my PlayStation. So the key is find your Jomo.